high performance settings for deadlock. And this is mainly for people that need the higher FPS. They want smoother gameplay, but they may not have the rig, the, the computer to be able to do so, right? So what I have is a 60 hertz monitor, which you can see here in the resolution. I, it's just a 1600 by 900 monitor. Um, it has a little bit of input lag. I think it's like five or 15 MS. So it's not the best monitor, but it's the monitor that I have. And it's the best with what we're working with. And it's the same with the computer. I don't get that many frames, but what we want is to get the most frames possible. So some of the ways that we do that without really compromising the quality of our game, right? Because what we could do is always drag our render quality down and suddenly we're playing Minecraft. How it's going to give us a lot higher FPS, but it's kind of, you won't be able to see as well in the game. So of course there's basic things, which is not exactly what I wanted to go over in this video, because everyone knows that you can put your quality settings on low, you can reduce your resolution, but what you need is to minimize the amount of input lag that you have, maximize the consistency that you have, consistency that you have so that you can depend on it every single game. And so that's what the settings are. So you can choose at one time I was using the lowest resolution possible and I was playing on windowed mode so that I could see the other things on my monitor. And while this may increase FPS, it may allow me to read chat while I'm streaming. It ruins the input lag and also having distractions on the side when it's in windowed mode. I could see chat, but I'm not necessarily playing, uh, focusing on the game. So what I've chosen to do is stick with 1600 by 900, even though it may not be the maximum amount of frames that I can have. And I also keep it in full screen because in borderless window, it has the same effect of being in, in just a normal window and you have an increased amount of input lag. I have the rest of my settings on low. I have my render quality uh, at 100% because I want to see the game in its uh, native resolution. I The other thing, that's most uh, noteworthy here is setting an in-game maximum frames per second. And so my 60 hertz monitor, despite it being 60 hertz, if I set the maximum frames per second at 60 hertz, there's still going to be a little bit of screen tearing. You're still going to be able to feel uh, input lag uh, than if you were to set it at 100. So I reached this 100 uh, number just by increasing it a little bit more than 60. I tried 75, 85, 90, and eventually got to 100 where if I set it beyond 100, I don't feel the difference on my monitor when I'm moving my mouse around. That's really the main difference that I can feel here is whether or not this is smooth. And I'm able to achieve that one because I have the constant frame rate here set to 100. It's set in full screen. And there's also Two other things that I want to show you within Windows or within your drivers of your graphics card that can also affect this. So I'm going to switch to my desktop here. Um, here is one of the options that are for AMD card and I have a really old AMD card. It's a Vega 64. It used to be, it's like a, uh, it, it's like a NVIDIA 1080 Ti. It's a four, five generations old. It used to be a really good card, but of course it's it's really old, but it still uses adrenaline. So this is the driver program for um, AMD cards and under the gaming and graphics, you can set um, different uh, preferences for your graphics card. And one of them that I saw one day was Radeon Chill, limit FPS to save power. So this was turned on and even though I was still getting 100 FPS in game, when I was moving around, when I was moving my mouse around, I noticed that it was choppy and inconsistent. So once I turned this setting off, um, it returned to being normal, just being smooth, 60 hertz gameplay. Um, this other setting, Enhanced Sync, was also on. This I think this changes the way that the game is rendered, and it also has an effect because it did the same thing when that was on it felt less smooth than when it's on so really what we're getting at here is you know you may not have the same settings but you need to go into your graphics card drivers and to find a settings menu like this 
and to make sure that extra items are not turned on. I haven't actually found anything in this menu that should be turned on that actually increases the performance of my game or makes it feel a little bit smoother. There's one more setting which could have uh, the same effect as this um, uh, Radeon Chill where it limits FPS in order to save power and that is the plan settings for your computer and this is especially relevant on laptops. But if you just type in power plan in Windows, it'll open to this page and you want to change your advanced settings. And most people, the default setting is on balanced. But if you put it on high performance, this will basically fix everything that it needs to fix, which is this link state power uh, management. And so if you have uh, power savings on, it'll also do the same thing. It'll use less of your CPU and GPU, I believe. I, th I think it's the both of them. It'll use less of the both of them and you will um, have lower FPS. So these are the things that you need to check uh, check within your, your settings, both in your uh, graphics card, both in the Windows settings, and then also in game, making sure that you're playing on, on full screen. Now, if you don't have, uh, if you have a better computer and you're like pushing like 240, 300 Hertz or something, this isn't as relevant to you. Uh, the input lag at, in those moments, especially when you have a nicer monitor, is is not noticeable. But for myself, when I turn this from borderless window, um, I I notice an immediate difference. I notice an immediate difference on this on this monitor that I'm playing on, um, and so it makes it makes that much that much of a difference. So I keep it on full screen. Um, I keep it on the native resolution as my desktop because it, it also helps with the timing between um, tabbing out and tabbing in. And so, yeah, those are the way that, um, those are the ways that we're able to maybe stay a little competitive. Um, the way that we're able to maximize the the gear that we're using, the monitor that, that we're using. So that's what I wanted to share with you in today's video. Um, if you have any more questions about, hey, maybe uh, what are some other ideas about how I can uh, improve in, competitive leave them in the comments or hey join us on stream i'm streaming live at twitch.tv slash burger underscore kyle the link is going to be in the description um yeah feel free to stop by ask us uh anything that that you're curious about we have a lot of experience to share just about performance in general so we're going to be there uh feel free to join us this has been burger kyle thank you so much for watching until next time yeah